What is up everyone, welcome back to another tier list. It's been a while since we did this one, but unless they do a heavy compound rework or a, I don't know, a whole revamp, I don't think my opinion on, t on compounds tier list is gonna change in any time soon, because it's been strong like this for years. But every once in a while I get a YouTube comment or someone in Twitch chat asking me which compounds I prefer to fight in, which compounds I hate that they create stalemates, and basically that's how we're gonna uh, rate them now in this tier list. We're gonna go from like compounds that are Ton of fight have different variety of gunfights and dynamic gunfights too. Compounds are usually one-sided and boring and uh, stale. Uh, so we're gonna also start off by putting an F tier and S tier. I instantly see here we're going alphabetic, so easy choice here and uh, kind of makes sense to put a lens in F tier. It's honestly my least favorite. Been for a long while, even before Scapperly got reworked, I was saying a lens need rework. Uh, more urgently but it still didn't get any mainly because there's so many mounds around the fights are stale you either get desync on those mounds or you stumble across someone else who's sitting in those bushes there's just like not too many options to rotate there the fights are one-sided and unfun it is the corner of the map as well i'm not a huge fan personally of the corner of the map once but now we can choose uh we're gonna go how to say from the order here but i'm just gonna give you a, my favorite which is uh 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 is here a sweet bell sweet bells my s tier easily because sweet bell you have different fights usually when people get in the compound when you let them in the compound you are in the boss layer the other bounty or the other team is in the building across that's also connected with that bridge you can have people in the trenches you can have them at the big wheel towards lawson across the lake sniping um you have them uh, on the train tracks like the fights are usually so different each time i fight there uh, and be it me sieging the compound or be me like defending the compound now they also added like well not now they added like a year or so ago the watchtower as well that completely changed the approach from the watchtower side but yeah it's a perfect example of s tier uh, compound here and f tier so we're gonna like kind of compare others to, to these two and place them uh, in between. All right, next one here, we have Alice Farm. Also, there's a chance I'm gonna be moving them around if something changes. Like if I see a compound that like overshadows it, I'm gonna move it. But Alice Farm is another compound that I really enjoy uh, defending and sieging and breaching, mainly also because it's made out of wood. So you can wall bang if people are uh, camping inside with concertinas. If I am inside with concertinas, I can wall bang back as well. So we can put it in B tier from now. It's maybe perhaps even A tier, because I like Alice, I like Darrow, that whole like um, segment there. Usually I lean towards like liking the middle of the map compounds, like Arden Parish as well. Arden Parish is similar to uh, to Alice, but maybe Arden Parish can get still uh, if people like, keep the distance with scopes and all that, and you gotta pick roofs and uh, windows, you don't have many approaches there. But if people get inside your compound, the fights usually get dynamic and more fun because they're rotating around the dock houses there, they're rotating around white houses towards prison on south, and the other ones towards windy. The fights are usually dynamic and fun in both of these compounds. Then we have Ash Creek Lumber, another compound that's like in the middle of the map. I love that it has armory in the bottom and you can always uh, resupply yourself down there. I already see we have too many B stuff, so we're, we're gonna move this around. But Ash Creek Lumber is also another fun compound that have dynamic fights there. Rarely any stalemate. It's the metal doors there sometimes slow it down, but if enemies leave it open, you can just like rush through and uh, clear the whole compound, clear the place. Overall, a nice compound as well, together with the others. Blank Brinery. Black Brinery would put it as well maybe in B. But sometimes like uh, people started learning, there's a gaps on the roofs where you can do throwables. And usually when I'm sieging, I go on the roof, I wall bang them from the roof. No matter the load, a shoddy, long ammo, compact ammo, just throwables can clean it. And if I'm defending, I love to defend it from the roof as well. You, you can have people sieging not from too many sides, just like south towards... Uh, Lawson or the woods behind you and there's for some reason always extraction nearby I would put blank binary maybe in C because it's also towards the edge of the map there and there's just like nothing but swamp north of it so it can get like a little slower up there but let's put it on C for now we have Blanchet Graves that's a two rift or two clue compound uh, it's a big one whites are not like too too different there you usually have team on the the wall there you have team around the catacombs and uh well if it's a basement it freaking sucks well let's put it in c for now as well just for the sakes uh, of not having too many b compounds but i think it is c because it also has basement 
the stalemates can be created easily. The windows, it... Okay, I made up my mind just now, because... Um, in the boss room, in the chapel, there was like windows that you can wallbang and see through, kind of. You can see silhouettes of the hunters you can wallbang, but for some random reason, a uh, couple of updates ago, they, they just like decided to block that off, put some newspapers there and whatnot on those windows, so you can't use them now to peek. It was literally not even an advantage. You can peek from in the lair, you can peek from on top of the lair, uh, but they just blocked it off, so it like... You, you gotta use doors now if you want to see just that window in the back. It's definitely dropped on C now. I realize that the compound did change in a in a worse way. They also made a, a metal doors down on the basement uh, have no windows, so you can't do throwables there. It's very... They created a stalemate by that. It used to be better. That's all I'm saying. That's where it's C. If it, they didn't do those changes, it would... BB as well, you know. All right, we have Bradley here. Bradley is one of those. Lawson has brick buildings. Uh, Stillwater has basements. So when it comes to brick buildings, Bradley is okay because they opened it up. They created more, more like uh, holes now that you can peek and uh, fight through. The fights there are okay. If the teams are pushing, it can be fun. I think this is also we're looking at another C uh, compound here. It can create stalemates, sure, if someone's cramping with uh, concertinas, but you can also access a roof if you wiped everyone on the server, wallbang them from there, do your throwables from there. I, I think uh, if Blanchett is C, Bradley can also be... But Bradley is below Blanchett. Blanchett's like high C. I still have a special place in heart for it. Uh, but yeah, Bradley is like chilling in C for me. All right, we have a Lumber next one. A lumber Yard is a fun one. I, I have a thing for this, like, uh, compounds that have a main building and then a building that connects it as well. Uh, or is connected to it, so you can have multiple teams chilling around, uh, fighting, reviving each other, crack picking, whatnot, wall banging. All sorts of different fights, so I think Lumber, maybe we put it in B. But if I put Lumber in B, I would have to move Arden, definitely, A then. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put this one there, we have Arden in A. Arden is very close to the, the Sweet Bell when I think about it, so let's keep that one in A. Alice Farm might be leaning towards A as well. Uh, we have Catfish Grow now, corner of the map, but Catfish received, uh, I think, one of the most also uh, reworks. And right now I don't mind Catfish, you can actually rotate. There's those logs down south and uh, water there, but um, you can still rotate freely enough. You can approach from uh, at least two different angles. And the roof is also like more accessible now. I think Catfish is definitely a B tier as well now. I had many fun fights there. Not above Alice, I would say, because of the corner of the map. There can be multiple exits hugging that corner as well. But Catfish is a fun one. If, you know, if there's people inside with concertinas, you can jump in the windows or the roof and whatnot. You can wall bang them. It's made out of wood. And if you are also inside, you can you have access to the roof, which is always amazing. Compounds that have access to the roof to defend for me, you know. Great. Chapel Madonna, they reworked it, it still has underground. Uh, since they reworked it, I honestly didn't even fight underground too much. People push up uh, on upstairs, but that whole playground uh, upstairs can be done a little better. I would put Chapel on, on D tier, because it still has underground. If there's like a... You ask anyone about compounds they hate to fight on the still water, it's gonna be Chapel, Pitching, Stillwater Basement, you know. Uh, stuff like that. It's just like... It's iconic to create stalemates in those, and... Uh, Players don't prefer to fight there. I personally don't have big problems to fight there, but if I have to put something in D, I think it would be chapel and pitching probably. Even after those reworks, they gotta like make the playground above a little better. I say playground, by the way, for the, the compound, because it is a playground. Once you realize how to do parkour stuff there, it is kind of like a playground. Like It can be easily C, but as of right now, I think I'm gonna keep it there in D. Need some more reworks. I appreciate the re reworks they did so far. Darin. Darin, I think, just burned me out. I had uh, many fights when the Sal got released on Darin, and it kind of burned me out early on. Nowadays, whenever I fight scope teams, they're chilling in the mountains above. Um, and when I'm ch uh, fighting shotguns, it can be more fun. If they are like in those buildings uh, it's east from it, it can be fun. It it's definitely more fun than the fighting the scopes on top, but it's definitely not comparable to the, you know, Alice, Catfish, Lambert, Ash Creek, so I'm putting it in C, low C as well, because I'm just burned out on it. Alright, we have Daro, I don't need to tell you to or think too much about Daro, I like it same with, uh, with Alice, I said earlier. I feel like 
Daryl and Alice can become freaking A tier compounds. If that field between them, if you guys know, they put just like a big barn that connects it or multiple smaller houses that just like connects it. So we don't have a field of emptiness there. They also re uh, reworked it a little bit recently with the uh, bottom floor that used to create stalemates. Now there's no metal doors there, so it's more accessible as well. The whole compound is also made out of wood. You can wall bank, you can access the roof. I like it. It's a B tier, pretty high together with Alice B tier. The Van Trench, for me personally, A tier. I really had a ton of fan fights there. It's again, for some reason, those compounds that are connected boss layers or connected buildings. You have a butcher layer and spider layer, how they call it. Um, and they're connected with that like mini bridge. I really like fighting there. The fights are sometimes people are in the White House, sometimes they're approaching the spider layer, sometimes the woods down south, and sometimes just like approaching the from the north. It's, it's very different, very dynamic fights there. And... Uh, very enjoyable compound to be at. I uh, have first testimonial church. It's a double clue compound or double rift compound. Uh, ton of good fights there. People usually rush it like in the middle of the map. Don't have access to the roof, which kind of sucks. It, it's got those awkward windows. I don't know how to feel about it, but the compound itself inside, you can wall bang, you can pull some nice, nice stuff. The playground. Uh, around is very nice and you can do some parkour stuff getting on those graves i never had like a bad experience in it i had some unlucky ones but never like a stalemate so i'll put it in b tier easily there all right we have fort bolden here another double clue or double rift compound which is i feel the same pretty much what i said on the on the church there doesn't have access to the roof the playground around is very fun it kind of have those like separated uh, it's like two compounds in one it's got the one with the bonfire they gotta lower down the audio of the bonfire we told them a while ago to do that it still didn't get lowered it's just deaf there you you can't fight you can't use your ears or you can't hear like no one when there's like fire blasting in your ear but yeah once they rework that fire it's gonna go on the a tier but right now he's just chilling in the B tier together. Same opinion with the first testimonial church there. Fort Karmic. Uh, didn't burn me out yet. They did some nice reworks on it. Very fun compound to fight at. It's tough to bridge in if you're playing against a smart team. And it's like one on one, you know. You're pushing them with like a bounty. They know you're coming. I mean, it's a fort. It's easy to defend. It's definitely in defender favor. But if there's multiple teams, you're not in the main focus. You get inside the buildings or access to the roof as well. Uh, high ground really matters in this compound. And I love it. It's it's easily a tier compound for me as well, together with like Arden, you know. The one funny enough, it doesn't have a roof access, but it's got that roof in between. I'm, I'm seeing now that I definitely lean towards that. But funnily enough, not in Sweetbill. Sweetbill is just like very dynamic for me. We have Goddard Dock up uh, up next one. It's corner of the map, like north uh, towards, uh, is it east of it? No, nah, north towards west of it. You can't even rotate. It's just water there, nothing. So you gotta rotate like, like that around. Uh, I don't know, like, I would put it somewhere like C just because of that. The fights are like not too dynamic. I didn't have any bad experience there. Usually siege it well. No problems there. If there's concertinas, there's some nasty, like, I, I know how to climb this pipe. They're probably going to fix it eventually. And um, you can crack peek from there. But fights are usually people in the trenches north of it or people in the woods, like, west of it or, no, west, east. I'm getting, like, all mixed up now. Yeah, the fights are not too dynamic. I will put it in C, together with, like, Darin Shipyard and, like, Bradley. The fights are too repetitive there. All right, we have Golden now. Golden is another one of those that have connected buildings and that bridge in between. The fights, you can have people coming from uh, Salter side, from Lawson Fields, uh, on your main gates, on your back gates. Very dynamic and very fun fights. I would put uh, Golden as well in like, not above Alice and Darrow, but they're together with Catfish in the B tier. Definitely, B tier is kind of my favorite tier so far. Alright, next one. Healing Water Church used to be my favorite, used to be my S tier. But because of the basement, because of the stalemates I had there, and simply burnout, I think I move it now to the A tier. It's still fun fight, or fun fight, very fun compounds to, to have fight at. So I would prefer it, put it in A tier, below 4th most definitely. 
Uh, I like fighting inside the, the church itself as well. The yard is also okay. So still A tier, but it used to be S tier for me back in the days. Hemlock. Right away to the next one. Hemlock is, is a good one because you can rotate. It's corner of the map, but you can rotate around. You have fights from each side of Hemlock in the yard as well. It's very fun. I would put Hemlock maybe in B tier. Just because it's also corner of the map. Same reason why I said it's it's cool corner of the map. It's better than the other ones, but it's it's still corner of the map. People don't fight there too often. I don't know why. I'll put it like here, like in B tier, high B tier, I would say. We we'll have to maybe free this up. I don't know. Maybe we drop Fort and Church down below, huh? We'll see. I, it's no problem if I have too many stuffs in B, because this is like S tier, this is meta, this is great, and this is good. This is still good. B tier is good. These compounds are good. <laughs> Alright, Heritage Pork. We have Heritage Pork. It's got Tractor, my own easter egg as well, so I'm kind of biased towards it. But now, honestly now, it's got again the main building, the boss building, connected with the bridge with another building. If people siege those two, it's always nice fun fight. You have people sniping from the watchtower, people coming from different angles. It's definitely also B tier. It's a good compound, fun compound to fight at. It's made out of wood as well. You can wall bang, you can wall bang from the floor to the lair, from lair you can nade upstairs. Very fun compound to fight at, and I would put like even high. Uh, B tier here. And we have Ironworks, another brick building of the Lawson Station, Lawson Delta. Did they did open it up as well, made some cracks and all. It's got a connector building that's not really connected, but it's there in the yard. It's got roof access. That puts it above brickwork for me though. Because of that roof access, I would say, and uh, the fights usually are not one sided. You have people in the yard coming from the bridge, coming from the wolf head, all different angles and uh, even the woods there. Or swamps. So I would put it like also in the B tier. It's a good compound. It's not too bad. It's called camper work sometimes, but uh, you gotta know how to siege it. You gotta know how to act upon it. And if people are deciding to camp, they can literally camp in any compound. You can't really force them out. King Snake Mines up next. It got reworked, open, opened up in the tunnels recently. Didn't have too many fights in the tunnels, but uh, King Snake overall, I don't have problems, even though it's one of those corner maps as well. Uh, I just don't have problems because you can rotate around it. The fights are from the from the rocks above, from the below, from down south, getting sniped from uh, neighbor compounds. Quite dynamic fights. I would have to say it's also together with other like Hemlock and Catfish, you know, corner of the map, but it's still enjoyable and good to fight at. All right, next up we have Lawson Station. It's a double clue or double rift compound as well. Very dynamic fights. You have access to the roof, so instantly place it up high. The fights are also dynamic. We have people fighting from Golden, pushing uh, or sieging both buildings back and forth. You have people on the construction site uh, coming from that wall or the, the gates. So very fun and very dynamic fights. I will put Lawson even up in A tier, I would guess. Just because it's it's a big compound. You have many different outcomes and very dynamic fights out of it. It's, it's rarely one-sided. You go to Lawson and you're like, ah, they're gonna do this, you know. Even if they camp in that station building, you can still fight them off from the roof and wall bang them from the windows. It's very fun compound, at least for me to fight that. Lockbait Docks, another middle of the map compound. And together with Arden Parish, I will place it up high in A. I like Lockbay. Some people hate it because of the water, but you don't need to rotate too much in it. You can actually, the compound is big enough that you can be inside of it and rotate around the building. Uh, sure, you have sometimes across the water towards healing snipers, Blanchett snipers, people coming from um, Alice and chilling on the fence line there. But if you get inside a compound, you get pretty comfortable there. You can get even in the basement of it, but I rarely had stalemates in that basement. Now even they opened up big windows on it and you can defend it nicely from there. You can siege it there. Um, overall, very fun compound to fight at. I prefer lock by dogs. I have Lover de Sal. Lover de Sal, so far, so good. Fights are quite one-sided there in that one. I like the aesthetics of it. That's why I said so far, so good. I like aesthetics, but the compound itself, the gameplay there, the gunfights are pretty one-sided. You have people in that, like, main building that are defending the boss, and then you have people in those, uh, like staircases and buildings across of it and it's usually just like fight like that back and forth back and forth and uh, rarely have people trying to enter inside like it's it's predictable how to fight there that's why i put it in c uh, just because it's predictable it's usually one-way fights you, you know what you're going for when you go over the cell more battery more battery has access to those roofs once you defend from the roofs you kind of have the 
the, the whole advantage of that compound, the whole power of the compound of Mon Battery is holding those roofs around it. But if you have different teams on the roofs, you're inside and another team outside, it's so much fun to fight there. I don't mind Mon Battery, never had a bad experience in Stalemate there. Sometimes when it's a good team, they don't let you push in that easily. It's very tough to push in, but once you're in, you're in for a good fight and good good highlight, I would say. So definitely putting it in A tier. It's a great compound to fight at. We have Moses here. Moses, quite interesting compound. Definitely not my top, top tier there, but it's an interesting one. Never stalemates. I know the, the layout of it because it's quite similar to Salter's uh, from the inside design. Fights outside, you have people um, on the on the fields there or how to say towards the rocks you have people in the yard pushing from both directions the fights are dynamic there but i don't know i'm not a, for some reason i'm not a huge fan of it i'll put it like in low b tier I, and i have really no explanation why it just maybe because it's already seen it salters but better that's how i see it maybe and perhaps that's why i feel like uh, not too inclined towards it definitely lower than all of the others like I, I kind of feel bad now for keeping it in the same tier with Daro. I can't keep it in the same tier with Daro and Alice. Definitely gotta drop it down to C. I don't know, just like personally don't feel too great about this one. Same like with Darin. Alright, and this one. This is the time when uh, everyone cancels me because there's so many people that hate Nicholas Prison. Nicholas Prison, I gotta say, like if I have a scope, I'm not gonna be pushing Nicholas Prison. Usually you don't even have to push it because there's no exits nearby. So you just wait it out. But if I have a a secondary or um, an iron sights even, a shotgun or a whatever close mid range, it's ton of fight to fight it once you know the layout of it. That's the thing. You gotta learn the layout because everyone else doesn't know it and they're just confused. You can wall bang them from up below, you can uh, you know defend it as well from the tower. It's a good compound with a ton of different outcomes. It's a campy one as well because you have like essentially two buildings or, or one building in two separate parts something that I personally prefer, but it gets stale because you don't have too many wallbang options and too many angles. Overall, I would put it in B tier, definitely together with all of these ones. I like, I like prison, it's a good compound. Pro Plantation, I feel the same about it. It's a big, big building uh, that definitely prefers uh, close range loadouts. If you have a scope as well, you can definitely defend it. It's a fun compound, but definitely preferable to fight with a shoddy or something medium to close range, or an iron sights at least. But just because it doesn't have access to the roof, it's not A tier. I have to put it in B tier together with others. It's still a good compound. It's still a compound that I like. And same as Heritage Pork, it's got a tractor. <laughs> so it's perfect. Now we have Pelican Island Prison. The next one. Double, uh, double Floor, Double Rift compound as well. Um, it's not as good as uh, Nicholas Prison, at least for me. So I'll just compare it to the other prison and instantly drop it to C, I would say here. Just because I prefer Nicholas Prison over it. Nicholas Prison is kind of like still connected. This one is connected only by that catwalk and the yard. Like you can't go through it unless you go through the, the layer. I, it's a fun design, but not my favorite design there on that one. All right, pitching, pitching. Same story with Chapel Madonna. I'll have to drop it down to D because it's very generic. People usually sit down there. If they are upstairs as well, you don't have too much, uh, too many options. People are sitting in those mounts towards the uh, healings, uh, or they are sniping from the the water, or they are like towards Cypress, also in the fields and, and more bushes there. The fights are very one-sided and. Uh, Usually I don't have great fun there. It's okay to defend it, because if I'm there in the middle of it, I can just like try to snipe people if I'm failing it. If I'm not, I'll just get punished for it. Oh, poor Tricker, that's an easily another S tier for me. Um, and I'll tell you why. It's got like three boss compounds, three boss layers, I would say. Um, and it's a whole compound, is a playground. You have so many roof accesses there. You have uh, stairs now as well, not the ladders to connect the bottom part from the... It's a, a whole compound's got two layers now. It's got a bottom layer and uh, the top layer as well. It's very fun for me to fight at. You can fight it with shotguns. You can uh, snipe in that one. You can have iron sights. It's dynamic as well. The only time it becomes stale is if you're in that like uh, big building towards the, how we say, fuckboy forest as well, uh, between Alice and Port. And if people are there, it's usually boring or people are north from it in the woods and all that and sniping. It is boring, so you have to build. But once everyone gets involved and pushes, 
it's not a fight to fight for, fight for Drake here, and I feel it's the same like Sweet Bill. You know, if people get involved, it's ton of fun. All right, we have Reeves Query here. Reeves Query, I'm kind of neutral about that one as well. Uh, the fights are usually generic. You have people uh, fighting from like that west side there, or fighting from the north side if they're coming from the church. There's also rocks down south uh, going towards the east. People are usually keeping their distance. They rarely get involved and get in the compound. Once they do, it can be fun, but it doesn't happen too often. It's usually a very predictable fight when you go there. Kind of feel to, about it, same like with Lover de Sal. When you're going Reeves, you know how the fight's gonna go. You're usually gonna pick those windows, you get one pick and then spam nades. Reynard, Mild and Lumber. I kinda like that one because it's got two boss compounds, two boss layers, I don't know I'm saying compounds. Two boss layers, uh, it's got access to the roof, uh, you can have people fighting you from north, from south, west and east, everywhere they can siege in. They can be in the middle of your yard as well, the fights are rarely the same and you have it I don't know if I would want to put it in A tier, probably low A tier, just because of that. Fights are never the same. Whenever you go Lambert, it's, it can be different, unless you just get bopped as you're accessing it because they snipe you from the roofs. Same story like the mob adder. If they know how to defend it, they can defend it. I right, have Salter Spork. Salter Spork got a recent rework as well with that tunnel opening, but that's mainly for the spawn. It doesn't contribute too much in the, the gunfights, but gunfights in Salters at least are also, even though it's a corner of the map, you don't rotate too much around Salters. You usually get in the compound and fight inside of it. Uh, so you have people sitting in that other building, that barn uh, like west from it, east from it, my bad. Uh, or people like on the main gates and that silo. So fights are pretty, pretty one-sided and pretty stale there in that one. I will probably drop uh, Salters to C as well. Also punishment for being corner of the map compound. I think C is a good place for it. Scupper Lake. Scupper Lake, I never had problems with Scupper, um, even before, because even though there's a ton of water inside uh, the compound, you can still rotate around of it freely, you can, you have those small paths how to get inside, and once you do, yard is also not too bad, you just gotta clear AI and fight it off, those sunken buildings, like, as well, you can use them to, like, just peek slightly and snipe, when you're defending as well, now you have like access to the, the, the mini balconies and whatnot. It's still not my favorite, but it's better than Alain's easily. I would not put it in D. I have to put Scupper Lake in C. I don't mind fighting there, but it's usually when the banish happens early on and there's no exits up there, everyone's like, oh god, it's Scupper, you know. People don't prefer to fight there, so instantly no one's gonna push you and you're not gonna have a nice experience at Scupper, I would say. Seven Sister Estate. Seven Sisters, I don't mind at all. I kind of like it as well. It's got that White House where you can fight people from there. You have people in the gazebo, like, uh, down on the fields. The compound there, or the com the lair again. Uh, and you have different sides from the lair as well, people fighting you. It's a dynamic compound with different fights and different outcomes. And it's also made out of wood, so a ton of wall banks, crack peaks. It's got very nice cracks as well that you can pit from top floor to the bottom. I would put it definitely in a B there. Because of how dynamic the fights get there. It's rarely the same fight you're experiencing when you go Seven Sister. Also, if you want to snipe from Seven Sister to any different compound, you get access to the White House and you can see like from Kingsnake to Prison as well. Maybe even Fort, yeah. It's a fun compound to fight at. Now we have Slaughterhouse. Slaughterhouse is a good one. It's a fun one. Usually fights can be predicted there because people are defending the White House or people are defending the, the south side of the woods there. Uh, but also the, the lair itself... I didn't say compound this time, I said lair. The lair itself um, can be different, uh, differently accessed. You have main doors, two main doors, and you have like those uh, small doors, barricaded ones, windows that you can enter. And it's a big layer as well that you can enter, no matter how many concertinas, well if they put too many concertinas you can't, but usually there's no stalemates there, and fights, even though, although predictable, can still be fight, fighted off, and uh, you can get some nice experience out of it, I would put it probably in also B. Just because it's not too repetitive, it's a good compound. I have Stanley here. Stanley, I think he's got way too much metal, but it's a kind of, you know, a coal factory. You can't wallbang everything there. If everything's out of wood, it would be boring. And uh, I don't know, the, the second stairs, the second floor of the lair can be awkward to siege, can be awkward to push. Don't, don't know how I feel about it, honestly. I'm even stuttering here now, thinking 
why would I give it a good grade? Because I feel good about Stanley. I never have problems pushing Stanley. I even prefer it sometimes. But it can be awkward to fight if they don't want to fight. Defending team. Let's say I'm pushing. If I'm defending it, it can be a fight. So that way, I'm going to put it in C. I'll put it in C just because I enjoy it. I see. I have Steel Water Bend. Steel Water Bend. It's a fun compound. Now he's got an armory as well there. Uh, and Steel Water Bend uh, has got a basement still. So together with Pitching and Chapel, it would be D. But even that basement, it's got like two entrances. They should make another entrance and it's instantly like easily above C even. If they make another entry to that uh, basement. Because if people decide to camp that basement, it's very one-sided. But for some reason, people are... Not inclined to camp basement as they are in chapel and pitching. So ton of times they are in the White House above it, in those barns above it. If you're above it, the playground there is much more in favor than pitching in chapel. So I will put it in C just because of that. And also a free armory room that's chilling right there for everyone. Upper the Sal, I think have a same problem like lower the Sal. The fights are quite generic. You have people in that like bank uh, in the middle, in the lair. Fighting people across the street on those mini stairs and mini buildings as well. It's all window speaking and... Uh, Crack picking, sieging the lair itself can be awkward because you have like small doors and windows on the side and main doors as well. Sure, there's balcony on that side to defend, but I think it's got a problem same like lower the south. Fights are quite predictable. If I'm going there, I know what's waiting for me, so it's not a ton of fun. A vaping stone mill, double claw, double uh, rift compound. It is very dynamic one, I would say. It's got... Uh, the watchtower side, it's got the white house there, it's got another building across of it. Actually two buildings, one across, one on the side there towards west. Can be fun compound to fight at, definitely. I, I had stalemates there, but I rarely get bored fighting there and leave. And it's because it's in the middle of the map, you can always like leave towards exits, they're gonna leave and uh, you can fight them in somewhere else if it gets boring. And if you're defending, you have many options to defend it, many buildings to choose how you wanna defend it. So because of that, I'll put it in B there. It's definitely not as predictable fights as in the previous one mentioned. Now we have Windy Run. Windy Run also got a big river, kinda. Like, a while ago. Uh, and I never minded B Windy Run. It's got that roof access. Nice to snipe. It's got a white house as well with the roof access you can snipe. They also opened up a main layer roof. Oh, definitely puts it up higher in B, I would say. Because of so many interesting fights that can occur there it's a really one-sided fight especially if there's multiple teams you have team in the white house team in the other building in the lair maybe in the back as well if we can have that many teams at least it's a good compound to fight at i, I definitely prefer it and we have wolf's head arsenal as the last uh, pick here wolf's head is a good one especially now that they opened up uh, many roofs on it like you can literally go on the roofs around of it the main building still can be worked on a little bit because if they want to chill in it and camp it they definitely can another access to that one or maybe open up a roof to that one from different sides it would be fun to to defend even from the lair but i don't know balance wise how that would be definitely goes up higher in b i would say because of the roofs um, on the sides being open if that was not a thing if they didn't if i'm making this one like months ago when it was closed then yes it would be definitely lower but like this it's uh looking good on b it's a good compound so now that we have I think kind of completed the, the tier list here. I'm going to just like take another look at it. I don't think we're going to change too many things. So yeah, this is like, S is like definitely favorites. Then we have A, that's great. We have B, that's still good. Nothing bad with being B. C are like, okay. D are like, nah. And F are like, uh, F that. F lanes. I'm really not liking the lanes. That's about it. <laughs> well, let's see now. Um, would I change something before we save this one, lock it in? Because uh, a ton of people will just like use timestamps and get here to this part if they don't want to hear me talk about their compounds. They're going to just hear the final thoughts here. And the final thoughts, I think, are locked in. The one thing I will maybe move Daro and Alice up here now, because from the start I was thinking... Oh, look, they even, like, match here. I was thinking from the start as well that they are definitely high B, so... Because I have so many compounds that are good, I can easily put them in great compounds as well. They have Raynard that's great as well. Loss on healings for... Like, looking at this, I'm, I, I want to go there and get a, a gunfight in them. Now, looking at B, Heritage Pork is a fun one because of the two buildings. 
Hemlock can be fun if people choose to fight. King Snake, I would drop King Snake lower here. Because it's a corner of the map and I hate running up there. And uh, we have Catfish as well. Too many corner of the maps I put here as well. We have Church and Bolden. I guess I'm not going to move them. I'm going to drop them together with King Snake down here. Um, I wanted to move them lower, but I decided to move Alice and Daro up higher. And here we have uh, uh, Weeping, Windy, Wolf's Head. I'm just looking at these once more. Yeah, the compounds that are okay as well are pretty much okay. I don't mind them. Some of them, as I said, Blanchet would be easily good if... If they didn't close up so many gaps and spots, they're just gonna make it more fun to fight again. It's quite predictable when you go to Blanchet. You know how the fight's gonna be most of the time, not always. I still go to the Blanchet. So it's pretty high up in C and pretty low in B. That's the only one that I'm like on the edge with here. Blank Brinery as well the same. So Blank Brinery and Blanchet Graves are in between B and C for me. Goddard Dock can be put there as well. This is the ones I'm neutral with, I would put them close to B. I'm definitely feeling the same about Chapel and Pitching, I'm like nah, and Elaine's needs a rework, Def desperately needs a rework in my book. I still don't have problems sieging people because there's many entrances people don't know or gaps you can use, uh, but I'm I'm not looking forward to the, to the Elaine's whenever there's a fight there. But yeah, anyways, I think this is the one. I'm gonna save it down and uh, put it in the description. If you want more tier list, feel free to send me the tier list because the main problem is like uh, getting the tier list together. Making this video takes like an hour or so, but uh, making the tier list itself definitely takes more time. So if you, have, if you have some tier list, send them my way. My DMs are open. Join my Discord as well. You can always reach me out there. I would shout out... Uh, a person that sent me this one, but they sent me this one so far or so while ago that I even I just bookmarked it and I forgot who sent me this one. But thank you so much for sending me the, the compound tier list. Big shout out. Hope to see you down in the comments and hope you all enjoy the, the tier list. If you want to see more, as I said, let me know. Send them over my way. I'll I'll be glad to do them. Other than that, enjoy your day. Leave a like, subscribe down below. Stop by the Twitch. You know the drill. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.